Hey guys, this is Anime Rule Z here, and today we are going to be doing What If Naruto Was a Fox Age? You guys completely smashed that like button on the last video. I believe we got over 300 likes, so the like goal for this What If will be 300 likes. You know the drill, if this like goal has been met, then part 3 will be out in the near future. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Slick talker since a jet. When it's time, all the time, oh, yeah. Look at the way that I move, swear. Disrespectful and I'm rude, okay? I had cocaine in the school. Naruto has learned to use his Fox Age mode and now he has perfected it much better than in the tuning exams. He has managed to soften Kurama to a state where Kurama is willing to help him only when he really needs it. Naruto is practicing with his imperfect Sage mode to understand its full capabilities with him being able to run on all fours for example. Naruto isn't associated with Jiraiya so he is just around the place training his Sage mode and body to associate itself with natural energy. Naruto is training in the night when he sees Sasuke walk past him, he looks at him and gets up. Naruto says, where are you going? Sasuke says, I'm leaving to return and become strong enough to kill Itachi. Naruto says, you don't have to leave the village, please stay. Naruto steps in front of him with his arms out. Sasuke has already appeared behind him. Naruto turns and sees Sasuke with red and fiery marks down his neck and on the bottom of his face. Sasuke says, thank you for everything Naruto. Sakura runs to Naruto and says, has he left? Naruto says, don't worry, I'll get him back. That's a promise. Now we skip to the Sasuke recovery mission. Naruto is ready to retrieve Sasuke and he'll use his new power as he gets into the mission. Kiba says, Naruto, I'll show you how I have surpassed you. Naruto says, I can definitely say the same for you, Kiba. Naruto and his team are informed of the formations which they are required to follow and abide by. Naruto and his team make it down the forest path with little trouble and Neji senses someone ahead. Naruto and Neji see the sound fall so Naruto clenches his fists and runs ahead of them really fast. He creates a clone and transforms it into a Fuma Shuriken and swivels it right at the fall. Shikamaru uses his small time window and uses shadow possession jutsu and possesses all four of them. Naruto Shuriken impales Sakon and Naruto weaves hand signs and from this 100 different clones appear in front of him and Naruto sends them for the sound four members ahead of him. Naruto's clones are quickly set off and the four start to gulp because they can't resist from the attack because of the shadow possession jutsu. All of Naruto's shadow clones attack and beat up the four. Naruto smiles but then Shikamaru releases the shadow possession jutsu and the sound four all dispose the rest of the clones. Naruto still has no problem and jumps at the fall. Naruto talks to Kurama and says, what should I do? Kurama says, use your speed on the slowest person. Naruto runs across the path and Jirobo creates a huge earth wall. Naruto tries to walk on it but then his chakra is expelled from the bottom of his feet and then his chakra is absorbed. Naruto punches it and the whole earth wall ex explodes. Naruto catches one huge earth boulder like chunk of the wall and launches it at the four members. Jirobo punches the boulder and it shatters. Naruto is behind the boulder and Kitamaru says, Behind the boulder! Naruto hears this and doesn't care at all. He punches Jirobo back and then blocks Jirobo's incoming kick. He grabs his leg then knocks it back and palm slams Jirobo back away from him. He then puts his hands together into a hammerhead formation and slams Jirobo into the ground. Kidomaru gets attacked close up by Neji then Shikamaru possesses Tayuya. Naruto jumps back and Choji says, Naruto, let's get this guy. Choji throws Naruto with his expanded hand and Naruto punches Jirobo in the face then takes out a kunai and stabs him in the stomach. Choji punches Jirobo away and Naruto feels his sage mode weakening. He has like 10 seconds left so he jumps at Jirobo with really fast speeds and he punches him then his sage mode disappears. A white cloaked white haired man comes and grabs Sasuke. He leaves and Choji says Naruto go for Sasuke. Naruto zooms for him and his sage mode weakens. Kurama gives him his chakra and then he zooms ahead and catches up to Kimimaro and creates about a thousand clones. He sends them all at Kimimaru and Kimimaru starts slashing them with a bone sword. Naruto jumps at him and grabs the sword. Kimimaru creates another bone sword and they both clash. Naruto loses the clash fight and jumps back. He then says, give me more chakra, I need to bash this dude. Naruto's chakra aura increases and his claws enlarge. Naruto runs to Kimimaro on all fours and then jumps before he attacks him. He sends his chakra to Kimimaro and Kimimaro uses the bone sword to suppress the blazing power. Kimimaro's blade dissipates and Naruto punches him then kicks him far into the air. 
He jumps at high speeds and slam kicks Kimimaro back into the ground, using a similar technique to what he used against Kiba in the first part. Naruto lands back onto the ground, then Kimimaro gets back up with the curse mark in full effect. Naruto runs at him, then gets a huge wooden spear impaled through him. Naruto coughs blood but then he pulls it out and it heals much faster than it should. Kimimaro reveals a bone spine that he uses as a sort of chain and he spins it around Naruto's neck. Naruto looks down then tries to pull it from his neck but the tight pull strangles him. The spine cracks and breaks from a random kick. Rock Lee has arrived and Naruto says Rock Lee. Rock Lee you have to take him on head to head, I'll be on the floor still for quite a while. Naruto creates a shadow clone that keeps on absorbing some natural energy but then Naruto's real body sees Sasuke in complete curse mark form. Naruto sees Sasuke revert to base and he runs away and Naruto follows him. Naruto follows him through the forest and sees that Sasuke is much faster than normal. Naruto jumps onto the Hashirama statue and says, Sasuke, you don't have to go to Orochimaru just because you want to get stronger. You can get stronger in the village. Sasuke smiles and says, if you are from the village, I obviously need to go elsewhere. Naruto smiles and gets engulfed in the QB chakra. He jumps at Sasuke and sends him deep into the water. He weaves several hand signs and jumps down onto Sasuke. He throws his transformed Fuma Shuriken and then Sasuke kicks it back on the way, but then Naruto punches him extremely extremely hard right across the water then the clone runs after him. Sasuke reveals wire and whips it around Naruto and tightens it. The clone disappears but then Naruto reveals a chakra enhanced fist. Sasuke follows the fist with his eyes but still gets punched in the chest and Naruto follows with a palm slam that sends Sasuke flying down the water then he runs after him. Sasuke grabs a stone boulder then throws it at Naruto. Naruto uses Dolphin to go under the water and he dodges the boulder. Naruto appears out of the water and runs right at him. Sasuke reveals wire-tied kunai and shuriken then he throws it all at Naruto. Naruto blocks and dodges all of them but then Sasuke pulls it back and stabs Naruto from behind. Naruto looks mad and then the kunai and shuriken come out of his back then he jumps at Sasuke. Sasuke's Sharingan completes then he blocks Naruto's attack and sends a powerful attack back to Naruto. Naruto goes back a bit but then he manages to balance himself. Sasuke's curse mark takes effect then he says I might have to go stage 2 from the jump. He runs and punches Naruto back extremely far. Naruto jumps back at him and tries to punch him but then Sasuke catches the attack and sends Naruto far back with a punch. Naruto sees his power and two wings coming right at him. Naruto blocks the incoming wing swing, then jumps back and then Sasuke flies down with a Chidori in hand. Naruto tries to block it with his very own chakra but he gets hit in the heart. Naruto partially dies and then his outline of his eyes go red. Naruto opens his eyes and his eyes are orange with a bigger and deeper slit through it. Naruto stands and feels much stronger. Naruto runs at Sasuke and punches him so far away so fast that some of the water evaporates from the speed and friction. Naruto's heart completely heals and he sees his cloak around him. He looks up and Kurama says, Ninetail Sage mode, huh? He's quite skilled, he'll be even better to trick. Naruto can transform and shape his chakra like it's nothing. Naruto creates a chakra shielded fist in his arm and he sends the red fist over to Sasuke. Sasuke uses his wings and blocks the attack but he still goes flying back. He doesn't get lethal damage and Naruto runs over the water with a thousand clones. Sasuke gulps as he sees the insane speed of the clones coming right at him. Sasuke jumps up and dodges some of the clones but then hundreds of them jump up to him. He contracts his wings then extends them far and knocks out about 20 to 30 clones. Naruto is controlling his chakra to create a huge fist that will pound on Sasuke. Sasuke uses speed to knock out several of the clones then looks up to see a huge opaque red fist growing and growing. Sasuke pulls out his hand and lightning chakra glows and turns black. Naruto's fist clenches really hard and glows a white red colour. It isn't really pink but it's more like red with a white outline. The fist launches right at Sasuke then Sasuke flies up to the fist. They both clash and the shockwave evaporates most of the water in the final valley. Naruto's fist surely overpowers Sasuke's small Chidori and Sasuke gets slammed into the seabed extremely hard. Sasuke has broken at least 70 bones and his body is crushed. Naruto's power now is like stronger than Naruto when he returns from the start of Shippuden in this nine tail stage mode form. Naruto gets out of this form then Kakashi arrives. Naruto turns around and sees Kakashi. He starts to fall because he used a lot of concentration in the last attack. 
Kakashi says it's okay Naruto, we will take Sasuke in into the Konoha hospital where he will get better and he won't leave the village. Naruto smiles but then he passes out and falls to the ground. So that will conclude the second part of what if Naruto was a fox sage. Don't worry, Naruto won't be using Ninetail Sage Mode very often unless you guys want him to have it when he returns for the start of Shippuden. Remember the like goal will be 300 likes because you guys completely went over that in the last one, so that will be the like goal. Please put in the comments anything that you liked or anything that I should improve on for the next part. If you really did like this what if, please subscribe and put on post notifications so it tells you when the next parts will be uploaded with great accuracy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.